That was a spider web, y'all. Salon. Your boys finally getting these bad boys done after what? Two and a half, three weeks? My nails grow really fast. This is like the normal length for the amount of um, time it's been since I've got my. Oh my god, I need to soak these tonight. I don't understand. This one was doing so good. Like, I don't get it. I don't know, I'm not soaking. I gotta switch these out for, oh my goodness, and this one is too, ugh. I gotta switch these out for some clear holders because I gotta get something done tomorrow. And they want all of my body jewelry out. So, yeah, I just remembered I have this too, a belly button ring. And I think I have a, a placer for that as well, so. Yeah, we'll do that later on tonight. Let me finish getting ready so I can make it to my appointment on time. Give me one second. Okay, y'all. So, um, I am, let me meet you, Aaliyah, sorry, Buki, but I am pretty much all dressed. Fragrance of the day, Citizen Jack. Told y'all earlier, I'm getting my nails done. I think that I want to get my feet done as well. Y'all a little crooked, hold up. I think I want to get my feet done as well. So, I probably do that. Yeah, I'm going to wear me a little jacket because it's, it's like 69 degrees right now, but I wanted to wear this, so... It's supposed to be like 79, 80 degrees later on today, so I feel like this is a perfect outfit. I don't know, it's like get the best of both worlds. Yes, no, no, yes. Probably put my durag back on. I'm trying to figure out if I want to keep my big toe or switch to something smaller. But honestly, I might just, I might just do my big toe because why not? Saves me the trouble of having a switch bag, I guess. While we're out. Gotta make a quick run to the store, and that's pretty much it. Later on tonight, I'm thinking me and moms might cut Beauty and the Beast tonight, so we can get that up for you guys. Out for the today, this two-piece set is from Boohoo. This is so cute, y'all. Super duper cute. I got it on sale. I think I paid like $10 for this set. It's super cute, super comfy. I will say the shirt is not the most comfortable when you first put it on, but after a few wears, your skin, either your skin gets comfortable with the material or the shirt just, I don't know. Sometimes with Boohoo stuff, you gotta wash it a few times and wear it for it to like get broken in. I don't know if that's a thing, uh, but yeah. The shirt in shorts, Boohoo, Ricky's on my feet with, um, the zip up that Shan sent me and um, selfie bag. Yeah, no jewelry, no contacts. I only have like one pair of contacts left. Actually, I need to do that tonight. I need to order some new contacts. I'm supposed to be going out of town next week 
and I refuse to go out of town and I don't have no contacts. Like, hello? Where did you get at? <laughs> mm -mm. Yeah, well, we'll do all of that tonight as well. You guys' interactions with me have been showing me that you guys really do love these vlogs. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to keep up with doing more daily vlogs. This might not be a every single day thing, like, how it is right now because of October, but daily vlogs will definitely be coming back, back around even after the holidays. Do I have a stop sign or do they? Cause they just decided to just go right through the stop sign. Shoot. What to do y'all? So I am about to pull up to my nail salon. I was trying to figure out whether or not I wanted a design or not. I don't even remember what I told her. I don't even remember what I told her. I, I think I did tell her that I just went up over there. Yeah, um, cause I don't know, I'm not in the mood to have nothing spectacular. Oh, but I mean, I am going out of town next week though. Just remember that. So do I really just want to do bubble bath if I'm about to be out of town? Granted, I'm not going nowhere spectacular, but still I'm not going to be home. So it's like, do I want to, do I really want to do that? Or do I want to just, you know, keep it plain? I don't know. Before I go, cause my appointment isn't until one, so I'm gonna walk in at one. So I'm gonna try to figure out what exactly it is that I want. Cause I really don't know. And like, if you know, you know, this is one of the hardest things if you get your nails done. Picking out a color, picking out a design, like that is one of the hardest things to just get over as a person who gets their nails done. Like, you don't know what design you want. You, you've you never heard of stress before. If you're at a nail salon, in the lady's seat, trying to figure out what you want and everything that you're looking at just does not look cute. <laughs> I have been there before where I have come to my nail tech and didn't know what on earth I wanted and I'm sitting in her chair literally trying to figure it out. What in the world? So that's kind of where I am today. I don't, I genuinely, I don't know if I want to go plain or not. Sorry, you're gonna have to wait. I don't know. Like I know I, I don't know. I told her that I was gonna do bubble bath. <sighs> let me, let's see, let's look and see what, <sighs> what I can get if I decide to get anything. Cause I could always get this, but in black and white. But I don't know if I want these stars again. This is so cute. And it's kind of on theme with Halloween, look. That is so adorable. I think this is what I'm gonna get. Cause it's not, it's not, like I could, lo you could get this any time of the year. I don't want to do anything like super festive, but this is cute. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really a fan of festive nails. Like, I don't like to get nails dedicated to like a, a holiday or anything like that. But I don't know. None of this stuff, like all of this stuff is cute, but it's not on a vibe that I'm on right now. It's like, if I'm thinking, usually like how I do it is if I'm thinking too hard on like a nail design to the point where like I can't even pick some to give my nail tech for her to pick from, that's usually when I just go to bubble bath route. Cause yeah, I like these are very nice, right? I have like a whole Pinterest folder full of nail designs, but I just I don't know. None of this stuff looks like appealing to me, other than like this little devil. But I don't know. I'm not in the mood for no flames or nothing like that. I think I'm just gonna stick with the bubble bath and call it a day. Where's my pinchy lip ball? Oh, here we go. I'm telling y'all. If you don't have this, go ahead and get it. Put some of this on before I go in. She should be here by now. 12.51 and she don't live far from the shop, so. <sighs> get away! That was a spider web, y'all. <laughs> it's time to go inside. <laughs> it's time to go. Y'all, why did I just pull up to the nail salon? This is definitely my grandmother's car. Hold up. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. What you doing in here?
Quick, simple, and easy. Told y'all I was just getting bubble bath. I, I I sat down, I was like, yeah, bubble bath it is. I'm not sitting here for no longer than I need to. Let's just get in, get out. Bubble bath is what I got, so. Yeah, I'm gonna make a quick stop to the store and then I'm going home. <laughs> I'm relaxing for the rest of the day. Yeah, she didn't know any better. So it is special. Certain to show up that holds me together. For you, I'd give a lifetime of stability. Okay, that works. What time? Alright, I will go ahead and get you rescheduled. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Have a good one. Bye-bye. That is so hilarious when people call me miss or ma'am on the phone. But, what to do, y'all? We back home. I was over here at my calendar filling in some stuff. I needed to update my calendar, put when I'm going out of town, when I'm coming home. And I had realized that one of the days that I'm leaving, I leave next Friday, and I actually have my ear appointment on Friday. So I had to change that. That is now going to be on the 30th. So let me, let me get this together. Uh, e and T, she said 11. Um, and everything else seems pretty good. Yeah, everything else seems, seems okay. All right, y'all. The time has come for me to change out my jewelry because I'd rather do it now before I forget. I soaked my piercings earlier so they can kind of get like not lubricated, but like, so it won't be so hard for them to come out. I am very scared. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm, <laughs> I'm very scared, not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm very scared. But, okay, let's work on my belly button first. If I can get this bottom piece off. Because that's one of the biggest things I know is sometimes people cannot get this piece off. Um, so let's see if I can. Mm, I don't even know how. Like when you screw, when you screw something in, uh, uh, so it gotta be the other way. Okay. Uh, <laughs> wait a minute. Hold up. It's me trying to get a grip on this with some freaking paper towels. Let me find out. I should have went to a piercing parlor. Freak. Right. It is this this piece. Right. The bottom piece. I think I might be. <laughs> I'm screwing it the wrong way, hold up. All right, let's see if this works. This is usually what I use to like open up containers and stuff. So let's see if this works, cause I'm all out of ideas. <laughs> Ugh, okay, I'm just, I think what's messing me up the most is I'm, I'm confusing myself which like what, how to unscrew it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> mm, mm, y'all. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, let me... I'm gonna try to get this at least unscrewed. Give me one second. Y'all... <laughs> I feel so... Why does my camera keep doing this? If you have any idea why my camera keeps doing that, let me know. But I definitely was unscrewing the wrong ball. I was doing the... Let me... I, yeah, I feel like I can't even see. I was doing the bottom one, not the top one. So I did a, a cute little Google search. Which ball are you supposed to unscrew? Okay, cause the bottom one was not budging. I brought out pliers, pliers. And it wasn't unscrewing, okay? And I stopped. I was like, maybe I should just look it up. Cause I genuinely do not know. Why it said you can unscrew the top or the bottom. As soon as I go to unscrew the top, it started unscrewing. Hold up now, don't, don't act like this now cause I got this camera on. I have never, ever changed my belly piercing before. So I'm a little scared. I'm not gonna <laughs> Yeah. So this is what I have to put in, like a little spacer so it doesn't close. I don't, I've had this my belly button for over a year, probably going on two years, right? Cause I, yeah, I got my belly button pierced in 2020. Two. Yes. 2022, yes, because the Bravo show came out last year. So yeah, 2022 is when I got this belly button pierced. And I'm a little scared to change this out, not gonna lie, but we gotta do what we gotta do, baby. Mm. All right. So we got one, one piercing all changed out. This looks so weird not seeing like my diamond, not because I, I highly doubt it's a diamond, but y'all know what I mean. It's it's weird not seeing a little jewel right there. Now, what I'm really scared for is these. <laughs> I'm really scared about that. Oh, look, I need to prep myself. I'm actually a little bit scared. I know my nipple piercing balls won't be too hard to unscrew. This one, I actually took this one out because I was like this close to taking both of them out. I actually took this one out and put it back in. And this one is always the one that comes unscrewed. Like, I don't know how many times. I definitely... Like when I was in Florida, actually, this ball had came off in my sleep. Had no idea. I went to the pool and everything. Thank God that it didn't come out. But I went to the pool and everything. I didn't realize that I only had one ball on one side until like after the fact. It was, the whole day had went by already. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take this one out now. Ooh. Ouch. Ouch. Any other time. Any other time, I'm telling you, any other time, that this person never wants to stay in. And no, any other time. Any other time, but now that I actually needed to come out, you don't want to come out? <sighs> oh, come on. Okay, wait. Let me get this ready so I can put it in. Ooh, I'm so scared right now. Ooh. Yeah, I'm definitely, as soon as I'm back home, I'm changing this back. But I'm not gonna lie, I, I kind of like the slightly longer bar. I feel like my nipple piercings are starting to get irritated because my bar is so short. So this is actually gonna tell me whether or not I need a longer bar or not, period. Okay, got one in. Time to do this one. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> all right. I got these all changed out. Period. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I did not edit like I said I was going to. So no vlog for tonight. <laughs> Ain't no vlog going up tonight. Sorry. <laughs> gonna keep these in, and um, I will see you guys in a few days when it's time to change out my jewelry back. All right, y'all. So it's the next day. I literally, ooh, I literally just got home not too long ago from um, my small procedure. Everything went well. I'm so happy. I'm actually about the, I said the first thing I'm gonna do when I get home is put my piercings back in. So that's what I'm gonna do. But I did not want to do it on camera. So I have to turn the camera on real quick. I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually, I love these longer bars for my nipples. Actually, hold up. Now that I'm thinking about it. I went and bought these. 
these are titanium and they just have like the little rhinestone thing on them um i wanted it to match my belly button ring but i cannot find the other one and i know i bought two we're over here in like my little junk drawer this is where i keep all of like my my credentials from over the years but i really like i know i wouldn't just keep one and throw the other one out because it's not really making sense <laughs> if you want me to be honest because i have one i just don't have the other all right y'all i have no idea where this other nipple piercing is i gotta go to the mall anyways my brother wants to go to that perfume shop so yeah since we're going there i'm gonna just go and stop by the same place that i got this at and get me another barbell because i have no idea where where the other one is i had two and i usually always keep them together but i have no idea where the other one is so i'm just gonna put one nipple ring in we're gonna have to thug it out with one blinking and one not but now that i know how easy it is to change my body piercings because that's one of the reasons why i haven't changed anything is because i was really scared i'm actually when i go and get a new nipple piercing i'm gonna go and get a new belly ring i need a variety anyways i love those ones that dangle they're so cute we're gonna get close and personal y'all easy peasy baby especially now that i know which way this uh which ball comes unscrewed okay look at there we got our old belly button ring back period and i'm not gonna give up i'm still gonna look for the other one because i feel like it's somewhere it's somewhere around here in this house or up here i know me and i wouldn't just throw a nipple ring away come on now and this one is actually longer than the other ones that they gave me and i think this is going to be better for my nipples because i think one of the reasons why they're always so irritated is because the barbell is so short this is cute okay i'm gonna save this packaging so i know what to get when i go to the mall later on this week but i'm not giving up i'm not giving up i, I really feel like i'm gonna end up finding it close my door I truly feel like I'm gonna end up finding it once I already buy another one. That's really what I feel like is gonna happen. I really feel like that's gonna happen. But the whole time, if I feel good, I might just head to the mall tomorrow and get what I need to get. The whole fam bam needs to go to the mall, so that might be a little trippy trip that we do tomorrow. Yeah, but um, I'm gonna relax for the rest of the day, y'all. Uh, I don't got nothing else planned. Um, yeah, I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Thank you.